Where did you get the gun? I got it from... Did you steal it from? No, ma'am. Did you acquire it from somebody else? No, ma'am. On today's episode, you'll meet Sky Boucher, a 19-year-old male who brought a shotgun to his former high school. You won't believe why Sky gave himself up and who saved the students' lives. Down on the ground. What the hell? Put your hands behind your back. He shot through the door, but he doesn't know which way. We'll travel to New Mexico, where you meet a high school custodian who thought he found Jesus in a locker room when he was attempting to assault a female student. What's my mind? It's smoking blood. I am THC right now. KC? He just started grabbing me. He just started lifting my sweat. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Loop is right there. Do you know him? He works here. You'll also meet an 18-year-old student who turned an afternoon in school detention into an evening in criminal detention for assaulting his teacher. So he jumped up, came over there towards me, walked out the door, come outside, slapped me upside my head. And that's when I grabbed this. Don't you put your hands on me. But first, we go to North Carolina, where a female student decided police officers had no authority over her. 14-year-old student. On October 5th, 2018, Officer Tyler McCormick from the Winston-Salem Police Department in North Carolina, working out of the Haynes Magnet Middle School, was alerted to an altercation between two females who were waiting in the administrator's office. One of the girls, later identified as 14-year-old Timkia McLean, decided she didn't have to wait for the officer to conduct his investigation, and she didn't have to heed his warnings not to leave his sight. She made it all the way outside before Officer McCormick was forced to resort to violence to get her back in the school so his investigation could continue. Come here. Listen, I just want to talk to you about whatever you're involved in up here. Come here. Just come over here and talk to us real quick. Listen. What happened upstairs? Come here. I want to talk to you real quick. Come here. Let's go. Let's go back in here and talk. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go talk. Come on. Listen. We're not. I'm not gonna let you leave school. Come on. Let's go. Let go of me. Oh God. I'm leaving school. On me. Let go of me. Oh God. Let go of me. On me. Let me go. Stop. McCormick instructed Timkia to call her mother, but she was too busy with other things like trying to get out of her handcuffs so she could try to make another escape. Tamkia had no appreciation for the seriousness of the situation she was in, and despite his efforts, the officer couldn't make her understand. He had to call her aunt and arrange for her to come pick her up. Have a seat right here. What's the phone number I can call your mom at? You know your mom's number? They don't go in the front, they go in the back. Because you're detained right now for trying to fight somebody. What? I'm trying to fight somebody if I left out the door. In school. I was earlier. not trying to fight nobody earlier in school. I went down straight to the office, not trying to fight nobody. Trying to talk okay. to my mother. Okay. So you, you need to quit saying that. Okay. Okay. Um, I was going down here to call my mom to come get me. I was not trying to fight nobody. You have mom's number? Uh, no. Mr. Brooks, Mr. Brooks, right here. Okay. <laughs> Could you put my hands in the front? No, ma'am. Not until I drop you off with a parent. You're staying right there. No, I'm still going to get you. Okay, well, whoever's your guardian. Realizing she dug a hole she couldn't get out of, Timkia decided to play the victim. But the officer wasn't interested in playing that game and wouldn't give her the attention she was looking for. She's coming to get you. So oh, this you take these off of me now? No, ma'am. Oh, my God. I'm tired. I'm tired. 
they're, they're not tight. <laughs> they is. I can, I'm telling you, they listen, are tight. I can get my finger in between both of them. So that I mean nothing. That's tight. I'm telling you, oh God, this one is tight. What are you doing, honey? If you stop wiggling, there you go. Right. Could you do this one? I did both of them. Why did I hit Stop pulling them side to side. This one is so tight. You're sick. Why can't I eat some? Sit down. <laughs> are you hurting anywhere? Besides your wrist? <clears throat> My shoulder messed up. Which shoulder? Don't touch me. Let Don't me see. Me. I don't want you to touch me. Okay. You see it? There's a scrape somewhere. Where's it hurt at? Right there. Right where my skin looks like it's in my knee. As they waited for her aunt to arrive, the officer made sure that she wasn't actually suffering from any injuries. That was a wise decision after being involved in a physical altercation with the student. In cases like these, claims of excessive force used by police can go a long way, even if they're not true. Other than your, than your shoulder and your knee, are you hurting anywhere else? Can I put my hands in the front now? No, that's our policy. We can't have anybody that's handcuffed in the front. Uh, and I, I hear what you're saying, but based on all this stuff that's happened, I can't let you put them in the front, okay? If you, if you don't pull side to side, it won't hurt. When you twist them, they get tighter around you, like this no, part of your wrist. It's They shouldn't dare look. I can get my finger in between both of them. But when you pull, like when you pull side to side, it's going to get tighter. Body seconds? No, because you're pulling your arm, you're pulling against both of them. Eventually, Tamkia's aunt arrived at the school and the officer explained the situation to her. Tamkia was allegedly the aggressor based on the fact that the other girl was terrified. I'll take those off. You're hot, I guess. Yeah, I'm on. Talk, I talked to you on the phone. Okay. You wouldn't have to have an ID with you, would, would you? You need my ID. Mm -hmm. So I can say who picked her up. Or. For a report. A report for what? For yeah. disorderly conduct and RDO. And you, you have contact with her mom too. Who she stay with? She stay with you or mom? Uh, they stay with my sister. But she's not home right now. Tamkia got lucky and faced no charges. However, the officer's body cam footage was reviewed to ensure that he didn't use excessive force. He was cleared of all charges. Unlike Tamkia, the woman in our next case faced several serious charges. Violating protection order. In Ohio on January 18th, 2024, a school resource officer requested backup after he responded to a report that a woman had violated a protection order. She was legally prohibited from being on school property, but for the second time since the order had been granted, she was spotted on the property to drop off her son. When the officer approached her car and attempted to reason with her, she did what any run-of-the-mill criminal would do. She threatened to call her lawyer, and the officer did what any reasonable officer would do. He attempted to place her under arrest. Can you guess who had the better plan? I would suggest you call your chief of police right now. I'm on the phone with my attorney. Step out. Ma'am, step out of the car. 122, I need another unit. I'm on the side of the school. Ma'am, pull over here. Ma'am, pull over here. 142, did you copy 143? Give me some more cars. She's refusing to come out of the car. Being ridiculous. Ma'am, pull over here so I can unblock traffic. 
Why am I being pulled over? Ma'am, you're being investigated for a violation of protection order. You're not allowed That's on not school true. grounds. I'm allowed to drop my daughter off here at school. Okay. I've been doing it all year. There's okay, no listen, I had a complaint. I'm just doing the investigation, okay? Well, you can do it right here and you can call okay. the chief of police. Okay, can you pull over? I'm so going to can... call my attorney. So this is getting serious now. Okay, I don't care. I haven't violated anything. Okay, I'm doing the investigation and now you're obstructing. I'm for work. You're obstructing now. I'm not obstructing you. You're okay. not telling me why I'm being detained. I just told you that you're being investigated for a violation of protection order. There's nothing in the protection order that says you can drop your foster daughter off. Where's the protection order? Can I see it? Yeah, it's back here. Pull over here. I'm not going to. You're okay. go I'm going to bust the window and, re and you're remove going to you. Bust? If my you don't. Window? Yeah, absolutely. I've you're got more to... officers. You... Officer McConnell, you're going to bust my window Mindy, at a school? you're under arrest. Step out of the car. I'm out under arrest? Yes, you're under arrest. For what? what Step am out. I being you are obstructing for? official business. Step out. I'm under arrest for what? You are chief of police now. Oh my God! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help! 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 I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Help! Help! Help me, please! Help me, please! You are my when all of her threats failed, she was tased and handcuffed and she tried other popular strategies. She's played the victim card and when that didn't work, she pretended there was no protection order at all. They were both ill-advised strategies and only irritated the officers. Can you please get your hands off of me? Get your hands off of me! Can it? somebody help me please? Sit down. Every day, for months, I dropped my kid off. Why now? Because Why this today? is because this is when I get to complain. I'm just doing my job, and you're being ridiculous. But you're not. Care. You're not doing your job. I've done this for all for months. The, the protection order isn't for the school. Yes, it is. Pull your feet in, please. So where's the protection order? Pull your feet in. Where is the protection order? I have a copy I of it. Pull your feet in. I want the protection order. Show me. I don't okay. want you touching me. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in the car if you don't get in. Now pull your feet Why in. Why are you doing this? You're ridiculous. Ridiculous that you pulled me over in front of my kid. No, I didn't. Ridiculous that you pulled me. Pull your feet Principal, in. principal, could you please come here? No, McConnell, don't touch me. I'm already bleeding everything out. I've asked Get in the car. Please take me. Please take me. Get me out of the car. You see how many pictures I can't drop off? But I can. I've been doing it for months. Get in the car. You won't stop tasing me, please. Get in the car. Can you please You're help? You're gonna get hit with pepper spray. Get in the car. I'm not doing anything wrong. You have the protection order on file. I've been dropping off for months. Get in the car. You're gonna get pepper sprayed. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Just get in the car. Get in the car. You're gonna get pepper sprayed. And call somebody. I can't call. How can I call anybody? Why am I being arrested for? You're being arrested for obstruction and resisting arrest. Now get in the I, car. I didn't know you said I was being arrested for something else. Now it's changed. I told you that you were being investigated for violation of protection. I'm not a drop. Stuff every day for three months, four months. Pull your feet in. Pull your feet in, please. The woman continued to complain, and the officers were at the end of their rope. Luckily, EMTs arrived to examine the suspect, and the officers finally got a break, but not much of one. Sit down and get in the car, please. I don't want to hit you with preppers, right? Well, you've already hit me enough, haven't you? Get in the car. Isn't this ridiculous? Can you go look at the the CPO that's on file. She's in the back of the car. Here's one checker. Can you pull over here so you're not blocking, please? That doesn't tell me what's hurting you. I'm asking. My you stomach. stomach. My left knee. Is that? My shoulders. Is that, is that my hard? shoulders hurt. Yes, it hurts. Okay. That's what hurts. Do you want to go to the hospital? In handcuffs? Do you want to go to the hospital? You're under arrest. For what? what? I don't know. I, I, I just don't have any told what I'm arrested for. Okay, I'm sure. You're under arrest for disorderly conduct, persistent disorderly conduct, misdemeanor of the fourth degree. You're under arrest for obstruction of official business. You're under arrest for resisting arrest. You're under arrest for violation of a protection order. I just want you alone with me. I want you to have backup. Well, this is not Burger King. It's not Burger King. You don't get it your way. Hi. So, um, has been tased. And, uh, she is complaining of multiple injuries. I don't know what they are, but. But we're not allowed to check her out here in front of the school. That's um, And she's screaming and yelling, so I told her that we weren't doing like that. And she's going to be nice. Yes. So okay. where are we heading to then? I don't know, because she wants her husband to go with her to the hospital, and I said that wasn't happening. He's not right now. So. Uh, 
she doesn't even know she wants to go. The options are city building or jail. Like, those are the two options that we can go check her out. So. I say jail. Okay, right under jail. Good. We could the jail. Fabulous. Thank you. She was charged with violating a protective order, assault, two counts of disorderly conduct, failure to comply with a law officer, and obstructing official police business. Her case is still ongoing. Now we travel to Texas to find out what happens when a teacher is assaulted by a student. Turns school suspension into WWE. On March 10th, 2023 in Houston, Texas, officers with the Houston Independent School District were called to deal with the aftermath of a violent situation involving a student and a teacher. An 18-year-old male student was serving an in-school suspension when the supervising teacher attempted to confiscate his phone. The student refused to hand over his phone. When the teacher persisted, the teen assaulted him, punching him until his face was bloody and he was lying on the floor looking up at the enraged student. How did the victim feel about the assault? He met the officer outside the door of the school to tell him. Now, I don't know what's off that dude on, man. You ain't gonna put your hands on me. I don't care who it is. So how did it start out? What happened? Man, I'm sitting in there telling him, hey, man, give me your phone. I'm calling my grandma. Oh, don't make me cry. I said, what are you talking about? What did you do? Give me your phone. So he jumped up, came over there towards me. Walked out the door, come outside. Slapped me upside my head. And that's when I grabbed his head. Don't you put your hands on me. I don't play that, man. So what happens after, you, after when you grabbed him? What, what happened after that? We got into a toss. He yeah. started throwing this thing. You for real? So I put it on him. Okay. Was he wearing a black hoodie and yeah. blue jeans? Yeah. Okay. He was, he was running across the field. He didn't have no business, man. He stopped me, man. The victim was certainly traumatized by the event, but how did the perpetrator feel? I think you may find this story just as surprising as the officers did. Or maybe not. Sir, what do you Yeah. We gotta talk about what happened with Mr. Williams. Oh, come on, man. Anyways. So, anyways. Um, go go from there, man. So, you answer the phone and what happened? After I answered the phone, he would just, he'd start going off. It wasn't like just like, no, hey, you know, put the phone down. Just talk to me like, I'm um, talking to y'all. He put the phone down. He keep going off, calling me out my name, bitches, baby, calling me, calling me. Doing the most for no reason. So I'm out here, cool, I'm, I'm going to put the phone up. All you had to say was put the phone up. I'm going to get so I uh, jumped up, choked. And I, I got pictures of my phone. It's mm -hmm. on my neck, on the back of my neck. And after that happened, I started fighting. I keep choking. Pete Bill, he started choking. And he mm -hmm. dropped and started fighting. After the officers dismiss his ridiculous story, they let him know where he'll be spending the rest of his day. He takes it in stride as he's been arrested before. But of course, he claimed he didn't do anything wrong then either. They're gonna go to jail. No. Today? Yeah. Like right now? Yeah. Yeah. So, but I know you had got arrested with HPD for some other foolishness. Right. But that's a whole nother story and that's none of my business. But today, you'll go down there, but you'll talk to the judge and stuff and get a lawyer and stuff, that's on you. So you already know the routine, you gotta give me your backpack, that check and stuff. Um, I called your mom, she already know what happened. What did she tell you over spring break? She was like, she told me, I was, I was not even going to get okay. And then she was like, oh, I forgot what she told me. But she told me all that other stuff that happened with the, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I don't want no problems. You know, like, uh, um, uh, uh, what do you have over there? What? That, that, that's basketball. Oh. Yeah, he got two pairs of shorts. I'm going to search for him also. If you got to. Oh. You know, I don't want to put him so tight. Yeah, man. So that's what we. Cause I, your mom came up here and we spoke to her, and yeah. she's like, uh, yeah, "That Friday, like, yeah, you disappeared." Mom, I said, under my arm. Yeah, Maybe you wearing those sweat tops. I'm nervous, and then this, and then my jacket. That's why I ain't even know I was gonna be getting arrested that way. Yeah, that's why I had I told you. Hold on. Now that's why we was telling your mom. We was like, "Why did he run?" And got all the goddamn shorts on. Man. Nothing's, same thing will happen with you last time. You're going to go down there, 
to your judge. I get you. I mean, last time when I, when I went, when I went in, I ain't even talked to no judge. I went in, got yeah, busted. Yeah, judge. I ain't talk. Oh, yeah, you don't talk to him. I got a, I got a PR bond. Yeah, they're probably going to give you another PR bond. Have a seat. It's the same process. You don't actually talk to him. It's the same process. 18 year old Terrell Johnson was charged with public assault against a law enforcement officer. He faced a potential 10 year prison sentence. The outcome of that case is unknown. Terrell expressed his rage in school, but luckily for some Florida students, the suspect in our next case was stopped and it saved lives. Sky Bush in Ocala, Florida on April 20th, 2018. Former Forest High School student Sky Bausch, then 19 years old, returned to the school for vengeance. He wore a blue backpack and carried a black guitar case. The backpack hid a bulletproof vest and shotgun ammunition. In the guitar case was a 16-gauge sawed-off shotgun. He made his way to the second floor bathroom and prepared for the assault. He put on the vest and a pair of gloves and loaded the shotgun. He entered the hallway and fired his first shot through the door of a classroom, striking a student in the foot. Hearing what he thought was an explosion, school resource deputy Jim Long immediately ran up to the second floor to investigate. Right here, hold on. Secure. What the hell is that? Nine nine six. Nine six. Nine nine six. I think it was a signal thirty five. If you could uh, send me signal fifty five C hallway. Hey, lock this school down. Where's the, who was it? What happened? What happened? Armed and ready, Deputy Long began getting teachers assistance to open all the locked classroom doors and make sure everyone was accounted for and safe. In less than two minutes, Long had a suspect in one of the offices. The suspect was identified as 19-year-old Sky Bausch. He was wearing a tactical vest and was lying face down on the floor. He lets other officers know that the teachers in the office are claiming he was the shooter. Down on the ground. What the hell? Put your hands behind your back. Everyone out. Okay, stop right there. Stop right there. Who is he? He's, he's the shooter. He shot through the door, but he doesn't know which one. 996 burn. I have one in custody. They're saying he's a shooter. He's the guy himself. Did anyone see him? No. No, he was outside. He came down. Do you go to this school? I used to, sir. What the? Was a mental illness, sir. All right, go. Out. Everyone out. Hey, keep them right there. 996, Bern, I, I got one in custody. He's saying he's the shooter. Where is the hallway? D hallway upstairs room. What room are we in? D229. D229. The uh, signal zero is still in the hallway. Room D229 upstairs for the responding unit. Room D229 upstairs. Signal zero is still in the hallway. 10-4 looks like they locked all the doors. Or do I need to get a one If someone... Hold on just one. Go, go secure the, the, the gun for now. Where's that? It's the in the hallway. Restroom. Secure the, There's another one in the, in the restroom? No, I said the gun's in front of the restroom. Okay. I'm sorry, sir. I what do you say? I wasn't raised by the right people. That's Are you kidding me? There's a lot of violence. I don't know. In medication. 53 and 45 area. The front doors of the main building are all locked. I don't know. I'm walking are around you, the outside. Are you serious? I don't know why. Don't, say another, don't say another word. Don't say another word. Do you have anything else on you? No, sir. Do you have any other weapons on this campus? No, Do you sir. have any other explosives on this campus? Sir, I put all my stuff on the table behind you, sir. Sky willingly identifies himself and answers any questions the police officers have. He was defeated and seemingly didn't know why he wanted to carry out a murderous act. 
As expected, everyone is stunned and try to make sense of this senseless situation. What is your, what is your name? Sky Boucher. Sky Boucher, and you used to go to school here? S-K-Y Boucher. I used to go here uh, last year, yes sir. Or the year before. I ain't believing this is happening here. Uh, I mean, it ain't going to do make anything right this minute. Do you have any idea on you or anything right now? I left it in my car. And your car is where? It's uh, it's in the parking lot. It's got a broken window. And it's what got, color is it? What kind is it's it? A, it's a Nissan Exter. It's got pink duct tape and a broken window. Where in the student parking lot? Yes, only one, single 46, 10 That's one that we know of. 996 burn. If someone can go secure this subject's car, it's in the parking lot. It's a Xterra. I'll get you the information here in just a minute. What kind of car is it? Ten four. If you're responding. A silver? A silver Xterra with duct tape on it in the student parking lot. Pink duct tape. What is it? That's important. Seven people, the silver Xterra with duct tape on it. Beginning could advise if there's an 12 with it. And there's pink duct tape on it, he says. Senior parking lot. Pink duct tape, silver Xterra. Which side? This side or by the gym or by the auditorium? It's, uh. We're. Uh, huh? I'm not really sure right now. I think the right side of the school. How did you get up here with a shotgun? You just carried it up here? Yes, sir. Are you kidding me? What stairs did you come Holy cow. What door did you come in? Right here. Is there anybody else with you? No, sir. I'm the only one. You're the only one? Yes, sir. 996, kid. For the next time you look him up to your whistling 1153, or do you guys need to bring him down for the minute? Uh, uh, I, How many times did you fire? Once. He pleaded no contest and was sentenced to 30 years in prison. He also got 30 years of probation following that original sentence. We'll travel to New Mexico for our final case, where a custodian claimed he had a one-on-one -on -one with Jesus during a violent act. School custodian loses his mind. On December 21st, 2021 in La Cruces, New Mexico, officers responded to a call that a male school custodian attempted to sexually assault a student in the locker room at the school. After talking to the target of the assault, she confirmed that he made advances toward her and touched her, but stopped and started talking to Jesus. The officers confirmed that the man, later identified as Chris, had indeed believed he was talking to Jesus and he wasn't done. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. You need any medical attention? No. He no. Just, I don't know what in the world kicked into him. Uh huh. He just tried grabbing me. Okay. How did he try to grab you? He grabbed me through the back and he started walking forward. With you? Yeah. Okay. Um, and where where did this happen at? In the locker room. In the locker room? How did he get in the locker room? It was open. Oh, he just walked. It in? was unlocked already, so okay. I. He just started walking backwards with me and he just started lifting my sweat. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Loop is right there. I just told him that the other girl was right there so he could stop. Do you know him? He works here. Oh, okay. He works here, so... I'm like, dude, Loop is right there. Loop is right there. He goes, I don't care. She could watch. She could watch. So he tried taking so pull off your shirt up? from the back, you know? Okay. And I just told him, dude, what are you doing? He goes, Jesus, he, like his eyes closed and they started rolling back. He's like, Jesus, Jesus. And he falls on his knees. Well, tell me what's going on. That way I can kind of understand. Uh, I just, I just, you know, I lost my mind. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Sorry for not wearing a No, 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 you're good, man. So I, uh, I'm not vaccinated. So do you have any weapons on you or anything no. like that? You can go ahead and take it. Yeah, need... Okay, can you put that on the ground yeah. for me, please? Yeah. All right, put your hands behind your back for me. It's just, you're not under arrest or anything, okay? I'm just detaining you right now. So... Like that, man. That way it won't hurt you. 
When the officers compared the stories they got from Chris and the female student, they were quite different, to say the least. Chris's co-workers broke the tie by telling the officers they saw him walking around the parking lot totally naked. That the, that's a 12? No. You said they were about to have intercourse in here somewhere. No, he said she did not. He said that they were kissing, making out, and that they both work here, and they were high, and then they were kissing, and they were about to have intercourse, and then he lost his mind. Like, okay. I'm she's, saying, giving, she's giving me a different story. She, yeah. She's telling me that she was in the locker room. He comes in after. He says she, he grabs her from behind her, like pulling up her shirt, like uh, trying to grab her and stuff. And he's like, uh, I guess trying to hook up with her. Yeah. He's like, what are you doing? Lupe's right here. Like, stop. I don't know. She said he just works here. There's no, like, relation or anything. Um, and then she, as soon as he said that, he, he said his eyes rolled back and he fell onto his knees. And he just started saying Jesus. And she, she just ran out the door, yeah, because he was all out of it. Went to go get the other co-workers. At that point, she said they came out and they saw him running around here naked. The parking lot. Naked? Yeah. Okay. I said, if she, did he expose his genitals to you or anything? She said no. But he was running around naked. Doesn't want to pursue charges on the battery or anything. Doesn't want to pursue charges on the uh, uh, indecent exposure. She says he does work here, but they don't want him here right now. So if we can get him a ride somewhere for the meanwhile, or at least if, if he's is he able to answer your questions or anything like that? I, I, I was barely getting a story. Chris isn't sure what planet he's on and completely loses it when the officers try to secure him in the back of the vehicle. Give me a second. Give me a second. No, 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 you will not take me there. Those goddamn pigs, they did, when he told your f***ing son Sanchez, oh, no, 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 oh, my God, that son of yours, no, his daughter. Just have a seat in there, okay? Take a seat. Take a seat. Take a seat in there, okay? Oh, your daughter. Take a seat, all right. Take a seat. Oh, no, 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 that goddamn truck. Hey, hey. They are going to take a What's your name? Beauty. Hey, Chris. I'm telling you, Chris. Chris. Take a Just seat. Chris. Chris, take a seat. Her name. Okay, take Every a seat. Every step they Listen. That Listen. beautiful car that she had. Listen. She <laughs> fought to get to the back. Are you going to answer her questions? Oh, no, I'm going to tell okay. you. Every goddamn so take a seat anyway. so we can. All right. So you want to hear that you Listen. will make sure that Listen. dude that took your goddamn. Oh, those. They f next to her. They were doing it every goddamn day. The sons, the sons that they inherited from my son. Eventually, they're able to take a full statement from the female student and get a clear picture of exactly what went on. The officer isn't surprised about anything that's gone on and states that Chris will be taken to the hospital. That was the right decision. He continued his conversation with Jesus all the way there. It's Michael. It would be like a badge. A badge? What is that? Uh, it's a speaker. Okay. Can, can you do that? Yeah, there's nothing yes. in here. If he, uh, if he, uh, if we, we're going to take him to the hospital, if we find it on him, we can't, we can't take it from him, but... No, they're going to deactivate it. Yeah, That's I see. Okay, good. Because they took his keys, which is good because he can't get in the building without right. his key card and his keys. But the key card, they can deactivate it real quick. Okay. Yeah, he's completely out of it. So, do you want to finish talking inside or whatever's easier for you? What's your hair and your eye color? Uh, brown and also brown. Okay. So was he working here this morning with you guys? Or? Okay. What time did he show up? And what was his name again? No, Chris. Michael. Michael.
And uh, <laughs> does he suffer from any medical issues or I mental? Lupus. And I knew kind of to just tread lightly. Okay, yeah. But this is when he first started. How right. Long has he been here, huh? I'm not too sure. I'm not very long. Okay, so this morning he wasn't acting out of the norm or anything like that? He was good. He was good? He was good. Um, and then you said he, he hey, went outside or what happened? Oh, uh, no, it's after he tried grabbing me. Uh huh. Is when something kicked in. Okay. Because he tried grabbing me and taking me into the classroom. Uh huh. And as soon as he got in front of me, his eyes rolled back and he fell to his knees. Hey, that was my chance to run. Me. As soon as I brought these two back into the front, he was already running in the front. Okay. It's unknown if Chris faced any additional charges.